Can't blame yourself. Oh, see, that's where you're wrong, Mac. There could be a match out there. There could be a whole slew of matches out there. Sam's father could have a whole big family in there. Could all be matches. Come on, come on, you don't know that. That is precisely the point. I don't know anything about Sam's father. I don't know who he is, and I sure as hell don't know where I'm supposed to find him. anything about Sam's father. Nothing. Nothing. Except that I was completely drunk and I lost my virginity in the backseat of his car, classy. And maybe he was wearing a letter jacket with his name on it. Yeah, that's it. That Now it's all coming back to me. His name is Lacrosse. I'm sorry, Mac. Honestly, I'm just so angry and I'm embarrassed. But hey. angry at me. For being 16 and stupid. You know, who wasn't at that it's age? It's worse than that. And you know it. I got hypnotized today by Kevin. Well, that's great. Then you went to the best. If anyone can help you remember you anything, help. it's Kevin. It wasn't much, but I, I remembered his first name. It's Julian. Hey, sis, it's me. Julian. Call me as soon as you get this. I just okay tomorrow's headline. It looks like you've been holding out on me. Seems like we have a lot to discuss. Must be thousands of Julians in New Hampshire. Not like that. I don't even know if he lives there. He, he could have been just passing through town. It doesn't matter at this point. From the way you're acting, it sounds like it matters quite a lot. If Sam's father is a match, and we're not saying that he is, we're never gonna find this guy in time. Uh, sorry for interrupting. I just, uh, I feel like I know you from somewhere. No, I, I don't think we've met. Really? I swear, I, you just, you don't look so familiar to me. Do, do you mind if I ask you what your name is? <laughs> Seriously? What's next? Are you gonna ask her her sign? Yeah. It's Alexis. Alexis Davis. Alexis Davis. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I'm Derek Wells. Uh, you're the man who's printing the story about the, the donor um, drive for Danny Morgan. Oh, right, right. That, that's where I know you from. Uh, you look like Miss Morgan. You, you've got to be her sister. I'm her uh, mother, actually. How, how is that even possible? Did you have when you were, like, 12? 16. Oh. I'm sorry, I... I didn't mean to. Okay, it's okay. You get to say whatever you want. You get a free pass to say anything you want because I am so grateful to you for running that story about Danny's donor drive and, and on the front page, no less. Yeah, uh, about that. The story's been bumped. I'm sorry, you're going to have to be a little more specific. What do you mean you bumped the story? Well, in the time since I met with your daughter, another story has broken. That's going to take precedence. It's a big story. Big story? Bigger than, than saving a little boy's life? There's a scandal at ELQ. Now, that's front page news. ELQ? Are you serious? There's a scandal at ELQ? There's a scandal at ELQ every other week. It's in the papers more than the crosswords. No, this is a major financial news situation. It's a family divided within itself. I've got to run that. No one cares. You want to know what people care about? They care about a little boy who has cancer and a mother who is suffering. See, now you're giving my daughter false hope. And that's... Wow, that is cruel. That's really cruel. Miss Davis, please. I'm still going to run the story. It's just not going to be on the front page. Where? Where is it going to be, then? Is it going to be between the horoscopes and the Sudokus? Because you do know that the donor tribe is meaningless if the word doesn't get out. Alex, well, hey, take it easy, okay? We'll find another way. I'm, uh... I'm sorry. Okay, so am I. I'm sorry. I had uh, no business unloading on you, and I'm certainly not in any position to tell you how to, how to run your business. I just uh, should have realized that it's not realistic for me to think that uh, one man could save my grandson's life. Can I at least buy you your next drink? That won't be necessary. No, I insist. I... Please, uh... Excuse me. Miss Falconeri, to what do I owe the pleasure? Where do you get off telling my employees I don't have the authority to pull a headline? Do I need to remind you that I own this company? I make all final business decisions. I knew you would get cold feet, so I went ahead and took the uh, 
necessary precautions. I want that story pulled, Derek. I don't care what it costs. Close the magazine if that's how it is. It's too late, Connie. There's no stopping that story now. Tomorrow morning, poor Charles will know all about that fraudulent vote at ELQ. Congratulations. You just saved your magazine. Sorry about that. It was a call from an excitable employee. Look, buddy, we're about to close. Very well. There you go. For both of us, I insist. It's your money. For what it's worth, I'm pulling for Denny. Moving the story, it's business. Of course. I didn't know it's great. Now I'm lashing out at total strangers. I used to be gracious. Sometimes. I will say that Mr. Wells handled it with tact. 